Hey guys, today I'm gonna to be showing you how to do the moss stitch. The moss stitch is almost exactly like the seed stitch, but it makes kind of a bigger pattern than the seed stitch. To be honest, I am not a fan of the moss stitch. It's not my favorite stitch to do. Um, just because I don't really like the way it looks. I think it's a little too bulky and chunky and it can be kind of confusing and for the effort that you put into it, doesn't actually look that great. But I'm gonna show you anyways because a lot of patterns call for the moss stitch and some people really like it. So here's the seed stitch. The rule is to basically knit the pearls and purl the knits and it creates kind of a bumpy texture here. With the moss stitch, you're doing the same thing. You're doing um, knit the pearls and purl the knits, but what you're doing is you're doing a row of normal knit the knits and purl the pearls, and then you're switching to the seed stitch. It's kind of confusing, so to illustrate it for you, what you're doing is you're basically doing a, a row of knitting and purling. So here's a knit, here's a purl, here's a knit, here's a purl, here's a knit, and here's a purl. Normally with the seed stitch, on top of that, row for the next row you would do purl knit purl knit purl knit so you would purl the knits and knit the pearls but for the moss stitch you're going to knit the pearls and or excuse me you're going to knit the knits and purl the pearls again so you're going to be knit purl knit purl knit purl again and now you're going to switch to the seed stitch so you're going to purl the knits and knit the pearls so purl knit, purl, knit, purl, knit. And then on top of that, you're gonna be doing one more time. Purl, knit, purl, knit, purl, knit. That is kind of the basics of what you're doing with the moss stitch. You're doing two rows that are the same here, but then you're switching and doing the opposite and you're doing two rows opposite. In practice, um, hopefully it'll be a little clearer. So here's my swatch that I was working on in the previous video of just the normal seed stitch. So I'm gonna switch to the moss stitch just so you can see a better comparison of, of what they look like. So here's a purl. Normally, if, if this was gonna be doing the seed stitch, we would knit it. We're going to purl it though. And then the next stitch is a knit, so we're going to knit that one too. So knit, purl, knit, purl, and you're gonna do that the whole way through, knitting the knits and purling the pearls. Now on the flip side, so we did a row of following the rule for um, knitting the knits and purling the pearls, now we're going to switch and do the opposite. So this first stitch is a knit stitch. Instead of knitting it, we're going to purl it. So purl, and then the next stitch is a purl, and we're going to knit it. So purl the next one, knit the next one, purl, knit, purl, knit and keep doing that for the end of the row here. Now on the flip side, so we just did the opposite, now we're gonna do the same. So the next stitch is a knit stitch. We're going to knit it. So knit, purl, and knit and purl. So there is, um, I think, how many rows was that? Three or four? Um, this is basically what we did, um, if you can make sense of what we did. So we did a row of knit, purl, knit, purl, knit, purl, and then we switched and did the opposite. Um, so we did purl, knit, purl, knit, purl, knit, purl, knit, purl, and then we did a row of the same, so purl, knit, purl, knit, purl again. Um, you can kind of see the change here. So here we have the seed stitch and then these two rows here, two or three, we have 
the moss stitch starting to form. It's basically a thicker, larger version of the seed stitch. I'm gonna keep doing this for a couple more rows to build it up. And the hardest part of doing the moss stitch is just knowing what part of the pattern you're on. So where we left off, we had just done a row of similar ones. And you can just kind of actually tell here, I have a row of similar ones here, and then I have a row of similar ones here. So now we're gonna be doing a row of opposites. So here's a purl, I'm gonna knit it. And now I can start doing a purl, and then knit purl, knit purl for the rest of the row. I'm gonna do a couple more rows here, and then I'll show you what it looks like in the end. Here's my swatch after doing a couple more rows and now you can see a little clearer what the pattern's doing. So here, this first little section from here down is the seed stitch and then the top part is the moss stitch. If I were given the choice, I would choose the seed stitch over the moss stitch any day for any sort of project I was doing but some people really like the moss stitch. It's a little airier than the seed stitch and has kind of a looser texture to it. Um, but that's the moss stitch. Hopefully that was helpful to you um, and good luck with any project you're using it on.